Just after midnight, the body of 19-year-old Kanika Jenkins was found in a freezer at the Crown Plaza Chicago O'Hare Hotel and Conference Center. Hi, Tina and family. It's your girl, Nika. And your boy, Twan. And we in the... Kilda, baby! baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. We'll do a little something. Just a little different this time. Just a little different. Um, however, right now, so the news headlines is popping with the girl that was found in the freezer. Um, for some reason, this really touched my heart due to the fact that she's a young, a young girl at that, 19. Um, that's what I recall. Some say 14, some say 19, but her mom said 19, so she's 19. Um, so basically, last night I was reading the article and watching the videos with my sister, and. I didn't understand. How do you be at a hotel party? Okay, you drunk. I get that. I get that part. I've been to many hotel parties. Many hotel parties. I've been drunk and so forth. Um, but how do you stumble in a freezer at a hotel? Can you tell me that? Well, the story that I got, and I'm going to just break it down um, just a little bit. She didn't stumble in the in the whole uh, in the uh, freezer. What happened was, so the best friend actually took the girl out of the room. The best friend was ugly as fuck, right? This is what I heard. Okay, fuck. I think it was a setup. The best friend was ugly as fuck. All right, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, she they said she was ugly, and you know it was her best friend, so she wasn't really jealous of her, but she wanted some dick. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you had these two dudes. You know what I'm saying? One dude was ready to leave. The other dude was like, "Man, I ain't bringing this butt ugly girl with me or whatever." But you know what I'm saying? He had the whip, and this is what I'm getting out of it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you know, um, the the dude said something about uh, and and facts was in the pudding. Everybody looking through the girl glasses and shit and seeing who in the background and all. It was actually four dudes, not two. She wanted some D. You know what I'm saying? So, in order for her to get some D, she had to... Bring her friend? Bring her friend with her. So, they went outside the hotel. And the friend went with her while she went to get some D. They separated for a minute. They came back. They both came back. And the other, the best friend... You know, whatever he was doing with her, he she came back. You know what I'm saying? And then the best friend, didn't he come back? So they thought they was going to meet up, you know. And then when they met up, everybody was like, damn, oh boy. She was like, where my best friend? And I my friend that she didn't probably mean to get her killed or whatever, whatever the fact was. But the other dude, he was so into it, butt thirsty looking ass nigga. Old bean face looking ass nigga. Old gorilla. Bitch ugly wear. Dumb mother, I don't know what the fuck he was on, like, who would do that? But anyway, like, so he probably just came in and was like, man, fuck it, and she was just resisting. But it was more of that story, because if you hear from them saying, okay, the camera's faced in the bathroom and all that, she was resisting from the jump, you know what I'm saying? She was, like, feeling herself in a drunk, but she wasn't that fucked up to the point where she didn't want a, a dude touching her. She was like, man, but the, the, the friend wanted some D, you know what I'm saying? So... That's how it all broke down, and, and the best friend went back in, if y'all know from the videos and whatever evidence they have, that she actually seen, well, was talk, asking everybody, like, where's my, uh, you know, where's my friend at? And everybody inside looking like, damn, well, you left with her, where is she at, you know? And then a dude skated off, you know what I'm saying? That's what I got out of it. Okay, so the story I that I got, here's the story that I got. And that's why this story is like really important because we got two different stories and I didn't talk about it with him. He didn't talk about it with me. I just happened to say, hey, let's Literally talk about this topic. We haven't even discussed this whatsoever. I just said, let's do a topic on the girl who was in the freezer. Like I said, it really it, it hit home. I have a bunch of sisters. I have a bunch of siblings. I have a 16-year-old daughter, Nisi Poo. And... She's in an age where she's going to be going to hotel parties and having fun with her friends and whatnot. She just had a hotel birthday party. But at the same time, best believe I was there. Parental advice. Um, make a long story short, I got that they were at this hotel party. They were getting fucked up drunk, you know, turning up like they do. Um, two of her friends was on live. 
However, when I saw that, it was kind of fishy off top because I'm looking like, okay, y'all was on live trying to have an alibi that y'all didn't have nothing to do with this so-called mysteriously missing friend of y'all's. I believe that they were jealous of her. She was, she was pretty. Got beautiful little dimples. Chocolate little pretty thing. Um, however, I felt that they was kind of envy of her. And I believe that they set it up. Um, probably, like I said, like Tuan said, not trying to get her killed or nothing like that. But more so of a scare. And it got out of hand. And they panicked. The friends was on live, whatever. Um, however, in the, the original clip to that video, I haven't saw it yet. But I know that a couple of YouTubers are like you know discussing it they said in the video that it was this guy that was there who no one knew and all they knew is he was saw seen walking off with the friend they said that they told the friend like you know what are you doing and she said I'm, I, i'll be back and she walked off with the guy or whatnot and out of nowhere like two minutes later they heard screaming and then the video cut off that's the story that i heard as well however her mother went on the media and after said out of her own mouth if my daughter was drinking like i know she do this is what her mother said out of her own throat if my daughter was drinking like i know she do drink i can see her mistaking the freezer for an elevator and getting stuck that's what her mother said so if your mother say that even though your mom wasn't there so i know it's just everybody going by off what they think and believe yo who know you better than your own parent no one but God. However, like I said, I believe that at the end of the day that she was down there. I believe she was drunk. I believe that someone actually either put her in there and tried to prank her. Maybe she fell asleep. Maybe they carried her down there drunk and said, oh, let her wake up in the freezer. We don't know what happened. However, but me, myself, personally, I don't think that she was killed on purpose. I'm just being real. And... God nah, forbid. They were, they were just a bunch of kids having fun. I don't That's believe. It. I, I don't think believe that she, she was drunk and purpose, passed out. But I they think put her in there. them two dudes, the best friend, they already said it. The best friend, the best friend already said it. That she went outside and, you know, uh, it was the two dudes out. The one dude was about to leave, but the other dude was like, man, he was, you know, dudes is thirsty. You know what I'm saying? So he was already like, man, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? The dude that, that, that wanted the, the best friend. Um, he was ready to leave. He had the car, but the other dude was like, "No, no, no!" So the other dude told the that he was ready to take down the, the ugly girl, was which, which was the best friend, and you know, see, and, and I guess the only way, the only way to keep him occupied is to bring the best friend out the door so they go do whatever they did. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's that. That was basically at the end of the day. If, if you ask me, that's just how. It, it all came down to it. Well, here's it all my boiled thing. down to it. No, but um, everybody when when everybody everybody already confirmed that she left with the best friend and the two guys. They all left out into the hallway somewhere. Didn't nobody know. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody saying, or oh, they seen two people in the glasses and one dude was sucking whatever the hell they talking about. But. When the girl came back, she was like, oh, where's my best friend at? Didn't nobody see her? And everybody like, damn, you left with her. What happened to her? You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, right? So, by the end, the two dudes, the dude that didn't probably strangle her out and put her in the freezer or whatever the fact was and beat her up and wanted to just get his rocks off, he, he could. You know what I'm saying? I don't he even could. think that he was able to have sex with her. I don't. Like I said, however, if, um, if, I'm just saying, if that I'm, did happen... Maybe he was trying to rape her and she started screaming so much and he panicked and bam hit her and knocked her out. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's something that he did because the two dudes are still yeah, not did. located. We don't know. They they arresting all the friends and trying to get them to question, but ain't the dudes that's been that that y'all seen in them glasses and everything. They still ain't they still ain't found them. It's just sad. You know what I'm saying? They sad. It's a sad story. And then you seen how the uh, the other girl got arrested, right? I, I I don't know. No, I didn't see you all of that. Look. I didn't see that. <laughs> she got a knife in front of her. Hello? Put the knife down, huh? Put the knife down. Put him down. Put him down. Put your hands on top of your head. Put your hands on top of your head. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Sweetheart, can you stand up, please? Do you have any other weapons on you? No! <laughs> I don't even think she was trying to um, commit suicide. I don't. You got like fucking eight knives in your hand. Not really eight, but like four. What the hell would you go do? Stab each foot on your finger? By finger fillet, blinded from the light of day. Every hit is just a guess. This could be a bloody mess. How the hell would you trying to kill yourself? If you're trying to kill yourself, I'm pretty sure you're going to have either a razor blade or one knife and you're about to cut your wrist or whatever you're about to do. Take some pills, kill yourself. I don't know. But she was not trying to kill herself. It was all fake and phony because I guarantee you the next thing is, oh, I'm insane. She's trying to get a plea bargain. I'm not stupid. That's it and that's all. That girl is not dumb. She went on live for a reason so that she could show. See, I wasn't in my right mind. See, I even tried to kill myself. You, you can't kill you. Bitch, you're not ever scissor hands. How the hell you got all them knives in your hand? How are you going to stab yourself with all them knives? Stop it. So, um, yeah. However, we don't know if she was fucking. Fucking in a free. We don't know nothing. You know, it's just I hate for a person to try to saw somebody's name up. Especially they dead and they can't defend themselves. Um, from the sounds of her mom talking to the media, she was a pretty wild girl. That's what it sounds like. It don't mean she had to die at all. It does not mean that. But due to the fact that I know if I don't care if my daughter 25, if I know she's wild and she don't have a mind of her own and she's getting drunk like that, I'm going to watch my daughter just a little more closer. You know, but at the, you know, at, at the same time, it's just a sad situation. It's a sad story. I wish it would have never happened. You know, it's just sad. You know, prayers to the family. Um, when I first heard about it, you know, I, I, my little tears was rolling down my eyes. You know, it's just sad. You know, it's just sad. You know, anytime a death occur, especially something that, that's like drowning alive. That's like being buried alive in a freezer. But again, like I said, we don't know if she was dead before she went in there. And like I said, my perspective, I think she was knocked out before she got placed in that freezer. Let us know what you think about this video. Uh, let us know how y'all feel about the situation. Let us know in the comment section down below. If you're new, hit that subscribe button for the show, man. Because hey, you already know, man. We be bell. out here chilling. Hit that bell. Bing, bing. Yeah, hit bing, the bing, notification bing. bell. But one thing is for sure, man. Um, This heart. Yeah, one thing is for <laughs> sure, though. Um, um, get in the comment section. Let us know what y'all think. Hey, you already know what time it is, man. It's the gang in that building, man. We always lit TNN and Bounty for, for life, life, man. You know, what I really want y'all to do is share this video on all your social medias. And then we are gone because this heart right here beats for y'all. Yeah.